This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'd like to be joined by new matchroom boxing signer Ramla Ali today. Ramla, first and foremost, congratulations on the deal. Tell me about how it came about. Um, obviously, the deal was sorted out by my amazing management team, uh, 258. Um, yeah, basically, that's all I can say. Um, the, yeah, I'm really so, so excited to be joining uh, the matchroom stable, you know, given the opportunity to box on Sky Sports, in my opinion, the biggest platform in the UK for, for you know, not only boxing, but sport in general. And yeah, like really grateful that it's come about. Happy, happy and excited and looking forward to the future. We'll come on to, to your remarkable journey to get to where we are now. But first and foremost, when can we expect to see the debut? Are you hoping to get out as soon as possible? Oh, yeah, as soon as possible. Um, I feel like the debut will be in October, if I'm not mistaken. I, the, the exact date, I don't know when. Uh, you'd have to ask Eddie, hopefully nudging towards something sooner rather than later. Um, but, yeah, I've, I've just been told October, so I'm really excited for that. Um, yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm ready, ready to go. You know, I could box tomorrow if I was given the call. Um, so, yeah, just really excited to, to get things going. This will be the first time we've had you on our channel, Ramla. I just wondered if you could just give us a quick overview of your, your remarkable journey from leaving Somalia to taking up boxing in secret uh, without your family knowing to, to where we are now. Can you just tell a little bit, a bit about yourself and a bit about that, that remarkable journey? Of course. Uh, so um, I'll try and keep it short. <laughs> uh, came, came to the UK um, as a war refugee from Somalia in the early 90s. Uh, as a result of my brother dying in the war, um, came yeah came to the UK war refugee started school early, um, you know to claim free school meals, uh, and then you know when I ended up in secondary school I was teased and bullied a lot for for being overweight and took up the sport of boxing to help me lose weight, but in the process of doing that I fell in love with the sport, and here I am today. You've always carried the the sort of Somalian flag. You've represented Somalia in the amateurs. How important is it for you to represent uh, your country and to enhance Somalia's reputation as you go through as well? Oh yeah, like to you know sort of change people's views on how they see Somalia is something that's you know always been in the in the top of my head. Like I I want to change how people perceive Somalia from being you know a war-torn country filled with famine, filled with piracy and, you know, terrorism and the Al-Shabaab group and all of that. And what I want to do is sort of shine a positive light on Somalia to show that, you know, we're more than that. Like, we we also do amazing things. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm an amazing individual, but like, you know, we do amazing things. There are amazing people to come out of Somalia. You know, like Mo Farah, for example. Yeah, he doesn't compete for Somali, but he is a Somali first and foremost. And that's just one thing that I'd, you know, love to show the world, basically, is how amazing my country is. I mean, before the war, it was like a tourist haven. Like, people would fly from all over the world to spend their summers in Somalia because we have the most beautiful and incredible beaches. And, you know, buildings were just... Obviously, we were in an Italian colony, so, you know, the Italians built all the buildings and they were just so beautiful. And that's, that's what I'd love to show is the beauty of Somalia, if, you know, I can. <laughs> now, Ramla, we are here to discuss you sort of turning professional. You did have this dream to go to the Olympic Games, which has been pushed back. Is it still your intention to maybe go to Tokyo if, if the situation allows it? Oh, 100%. Like, we... Um, you know, we were obviously training for the Tokyo Games before, you know, 2020 had other ideas. Um, and I, I still have, like, my ambition has always been to go to the, to, to the Olympic Games. And, you know, I still intend on doing that if and when it, it comes about next year. I just feel like with amateur boxing coming to a standstill at the moment, you know, I will get to compete sooner, turning professional then if I'm waiting around in the amateurs, you know, I feel like professional boxing has, has taken off again. And yes, there's no crowds allowed, but people can, you know, people still have the opportunity to compete. And, you know, getting in the ring as a pro, for me personally, I feel like it will come sooner than, you know, if I did another amateur bout. 
Another thing I want to ask you about, Ramla, I read when, when your signing was announced that you train with and work alongside your husband in the gym. I just wondered a bit if you could tell me a bit about that dynamic. What's that like? It's the best, obviously. Um, no, I, I feel like training with somebody who knows you so well inside and out is the best thing. Like having him in my corner in fights is obviously the best thing because he knows he knows that I don't respond very well to being shouted at and he needs to, even if I'm doing things that he doesn't want me to do in the ring, he'll still speak to me softly and quietly because that's, he knows that's the only way that will get me going. And having someone like that in your corner who knows you inside out is the best thing because he'll know what makes you tick and he'll know what gears he needs to, like what, screws he needs to switch on upstairs to get you alert and focused and sort of turn the fight around and help you in basically and yeah what what better way what better person to do that than than Richard who's obviously been traveling around with me around the world doing all these international competitions so don't feel homesick because you know as cheesy as this is he is my home so we're doing it together basically <laughs> And the final one from me, Ramla, I do appreciate your time. Uh, there's been some phenomenal all-female fights of late since boxing returned, particularly in your stable under the matchroom banner. When you mm -hmm. see these fights going on, does that sort of galvanise you and excite you to become a part of that? Oh, yeah. I, I feel like, you know, with the fight camp, there was a female undercard. There was a female bout on every undercard. Um, of the of the sit of the fight camp series basically apart from the first one i think and i was me personally i was more excited to tune in and watch the women box and a lot of the people that i was interacting with on social media felt the same like everyone was excited to watch the women box and i feel like you know it's not it's not female boxing is not a fad like it's it's a serious thing and people are getting really really excited for female boxing and that gives me so much hope to know that you know people will hopefully be excited to watch me in the ring and you know tune in and want to watch me fight. Well, Ramla, thank you very much for your time. I'm going to let you go. I appreciate you got a lot of media to do today. Uh, it's nice to get you on the channel for the first time. All the best with the pro journey. I'm sure I'll speak to you soon. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. <laughs>